Hello everybody, Ace Stocky here and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of the Technicality Pack. Um, I'll start by showing you what I have done that is different. Um, I've now made a larger number than I previously had of these crucibles uh, because I needed to increase my lava production because I've now found out that buckets of lava work really 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 well in these sterling engines. Um, they basically run for an awful long time and produce one Minecraft jewel per tick the whole time. Um, this clearly doesn't work quite as well um, running on charcoal and when you put lava in it doesn't actually work quite so well either. I'm not sure what causes it to not work quite so well um, but it just doesn't so I'm going to, that's why I have a bunch of these here I've decided that they are going to be my go-to power source so I'll replace this once it runs out with one of these and run it on lava but look at that I'm up to a blue laser beam now so I'm getting four minecraft jewels per tick constant um, you can see I have built my golden chipset and my iron one is up to 15,000 uh, diamond one will come next but you can see this is just pacing away nicely there at that very good pace and yeah buckets of lava got it easy and as long as I come over here and these don't set things on fire they're going to keep working just brilliantly producing that lava uh, to run them probably need a fourth one or a fifth one uh, who knows hopefully it'll make lava faster than these are using it because I mean that's been burning for quite a reasonable amount of time and it's still going um, these hydrangeas are obviously you know, doing their thing um, and I do have a grand plan to make a thermal lily but before I go and do anything like that I need to make myself I only have a single ender pearl and I have lots of diamonds so I'm going to make myself a mana diamond pretty easy stuff, you just get a diamond and you throw it in a mana pool nothing even remotely complicated about that uh, it is however absolutely essential for this device here which is a runic altar now this is required to make um, a lot of the functional flowers and also the next generation of flowers that do stuff. Um, so I'm going to place it just here. Now it needs a mana spreader to fire mana directly into it. So I'm going to need to go and grab some things again. A bunch of those. My other purple flower that was left. A uh, piece of gold starting to remember some of these recipes but I always get the number of living wood wrong gonna need to eat at some stage deal with that when we get to it now if I point at you, you are firing straight into that excellent I love these things, they're just just doing the thing this has almost run out now and as you can see as the temperature goes down the amount of power it's producing is going to drop off and drop off and slow down and slow down and the steam will run down and run down and run down and then I'll break it what do we got here? Uh, we're onto our diamond chipset now that's going to need 80,000 minecraft jewels now these when full would produce 20,000 so the four of them with a bucket of lava each uh, would produce enough obviously I'm not quite there yet so I've got a long way to go with those things uh, in order to make my quarry but meh, it is what it is before I do anything though I'm ever so lacking in the food department So let's get this sorted. Carrot, carrot, carrot. Oh, good carrots. Don't 
don't tend to eat a lot of carrots. And I know that I should. Because, oh, actually, I should really make a juicer. Because certainly a juicer is a much better food source than that. I know I started with one of these. Sort my stuff back out. It's starting to really get on the slow sounding side. Yeah, it's it's basically almost run out now. There we go. Just need some lava. A bit of lava and it's good to go. Look at that. Well more than a bucket there. Probably going to need in the near future to get some cobblestone. So, I think it, I think before I get going on mariculture or anything like that, I probably am going to need to, yeah, Mr. Cactus. Yeah, I probably am going to need to get myself going with a quarry. I think it's just for the best. But look at that. See, that's up to uh, twenty thousand now already. So that is really ripping through the power. Obviously it's not as good as a combustion engine, but it's really just so much easier. And again, thermal lily is definitely where it's at, but sometimes you just got to go with what's easy. Now I will sort my stuff out. Sticks are made of wood. You're mostly, mostly all food. I think in the grand scheme of things, not doing too bad at the moment. So, what other mods are in this pack, you might ask? Well, of course, there's a number of good mods in this pack, at least. So says I. Um... And something that I would like to get started with, you know, reasonably soon, would be, um, I've just totally blanked on the name of the mod, uh, Progressive Automation. I didn't think that would work. I don't know why that doesn't work anymore. Uh, but yeah, we need to progressively automate things. So the first thing I want to progressively automate is a um, tree. Chop. Aha, that's it. It is a wooden chopper. So it is any kind of wood, chest, furnace, and a wooden axe. Seems easy enough, right? Six wood, two more for the chest. Already have cobble for the furnace. Then we need a wooden axe, two sticks, and some planks. So this is the start of the ability uh, to make good things. Now this is the next step up, which is the stone chopper. Um, I will show you how the wooden chopper works first. Um, gonna need some more wood to get started. Because of that, and we're going to need some charcoal. I'm going to go with oak saplings because they're easy. Uh, basically, the way this fantastic block works, um, I'm going to do it over here. It's 
basically you place this block down and then not ready needs fuel place some fuel in there not ready add saplings not ready need axe and now we throw the axe we throw the axes in here and what this will do is it will plant a sapling and when it grows uh, it will chop it down seems pretty simple right well you are indeed correct it is very simple um, that's why it's so good uh, it can only use a wooden axe and it does take durability uh, off the axe each time it is used you now what I'm sick of this w a t e r we want an empty watering can we need one two three four iron a bowl and a bow meal so we want bowl bow meal and for iron uses so I'm pretty sure to make this into a full watering can I just have to add water right that's how this works yep now a full watering can so I'm pretty sure this will now act as bone meal Look at that. Okay. Not feeling it on that tree. Why did you not grow? Oh, another oh, double chicken whammy. You never get a double chicken whammy. I don't care how much bone meal it takes, I'm going to demonstrate this working. Okay, something is really not working well here. wondering if it's a problem with there we go tree now it starts to burn the coal and you'll see that it starts to chop them down and for each block that it breaks leaves included it takes durability off the axe I believe or maybe leaves don't take durability down Obviously the downside is it's burnt a whole coal. It's burnt a whole coal to chop it's burnt a whole charcoal to cut that tree down. Obviously that's not ideal. But it will continue uh, to do that until it runs out of charcoal and then it will look over here, is there anything that I can burn? In this case it will go grab the wood, stick it in there, start to burn it. Um, the other option you have here is this little slot here which is the upgrade slot in this case it takes wooden upgrades because it is wood and that's made with eight pieces of wood and a piece of redstone um, we though can probably do better than this uh, by going to the stone chopper and the stone chopper is all smooth stone around a wooden chopper and a stone axe and it allows us up to stone axes oops forgot about that and it's a really useful thing um, because it is a super 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 useful thing because you won't burn your axes now at least I don't think that you do obviously we need a wooden axe though I mean, sorry, a stone axe. 
and then we need a bunch of smooth stone, which I'm running out of. Excellent. Now the reason you might choose to stick with a wooden um, chopper instead of a stone one, uh, I will show you in a moment. But same thing, and then saplings, and then it will take any kind of axe, whether they be wooden or whether they be uh, stone, and you can even put Tinker's Construct axes in there as well, which I'm going to do uh, soon, because then the axe will just break instead of completely needing replacement. Um, where were we? Yes, the next thing that we need to do is we need to apply those upgrades because currently, you will see just here, it says range one. That means it does one single block. Uh, I don't know which way it faces though, but yeah, it just picks one block. What we need to do to get to do more is we need to apply those upgrades to it. So I'm going to grab some wooden upgrades. I'm going to start with two. There's two wooden upgrades. You might say, what do you want wooden upgrades for? You just made a stone one. It's because the use of these wooden upgrades is to make stone ones. So now I can take my stone. And now I have two stone upgrades. Which is just brilliant and fantastic. Because now the range goes from 1 to 5 to 9. And there it's placed the ninth one. Now any one of those that grows, uh, it will destroyify. This really is a waste of charcoal. So I'm going to put, see it's burning an axe. You don't want to go burning axes. Birch planks though are perfect because they don't last as long, so it's not going to be um, as quite as wasteful. I am probably going to go through a lot of axe, uh, a lot of planks though, but hopefully this will produce more than it uses, and that's where we're good. Once it starts to produce more than it uses, yeah, the world becomes my oyster. And hopefully, I mean, I'm bordering on a birch forest, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue for it to just work and for me to be able to get stacks of birch. But yeah, I do intend to run it on oak. Um, it's just that birch was convenient. I had lots of birch planks. The other reason oak is good is because uh, apples. That's pretty much it, just apples. But yeah, this does appear to be, from what I can tell, um, a really, a fairly well set up mod. Because like each little thing that it does will start to burn um, a piece of your hard earned fuel. And you can run out of fuel quite quickly with it. These are not growing at the moment, start to grow please. I don't know if I can force them to grow or what will happen. Well, there we go, something grew. So now we can see burning planks, cutting wood. So it burnt one, two. So it burnt two planks uh, to get me four logs. Those odds aren't too bad. Uh, my saplings are also increasing, so you know we're not doing too badly in terms of number. It's not the world's most efficient farming system, uh, and it does use tools, and it does automatically grab any kind of fuel, anything that will burn, it will grab and stick in there. So that also means it, you know, it doesn't just run by itself. It does need some management. Uh, all of those things, I guess, contribute to it being a a fairly well balanced, fairly well made mod that fits in quite nicely. Um, as part of that same mod, you've also got the farmer, I think it is called.
No, it's called the planter, um, which has a fairly straightforward recipe. Except it uses a hoe and it does farming. We've also got the miner, and there's also an engine, I believe. So there's, it has the RF engine, and you add the RF engine uh, into one of these and it will basically allow it to run off RF power instead of having to run off let's see how this goes seeing as it's doing a double tree yeah it will basically let it run off RF instead of having to run off a fuel source um, it's a fairly expensive tool though uh, it's also used to make these generators um, You've got the wooden generator, the stone generator, the iron, and the diamond. Um, each one of them progressively works better. Um, in terms of they produce the same output, uh, but the ones that work better basically produce a greater number of RF units uh, over, over a longer period. No. The total amount is greater because it produces the same amount over a longer period as you go up. So it's really quite cool, really quite useful. Um, haven't built one yet or tried one. Maybe that's worth doing just to see how well they work. Um, we need. Gonna need to go and collect some more iron. Bad zombie. Get out of my face. So distracted. I thought these would pretty much have all stopped though. Oh, and we aren't quite there yet. Which one of you is still working? This one. Yeah, going to need some more fuel for that. Uh, but, you know, whatever, we'll get to that in due time. So here we have our redstone thing, uses, so we need wood, another redstone block and a furnace. I mean, lucky you do end up with quite a lot of redstone. Because we do seem to be going through a lot of it in making these things. We can store up to 20,000 RF in it. Oh, the tool is a pickaxe. Um, so I now need to make another one of these. Add to the fuel slot so you can power the machine with RF. It's only four iron. Ridiculous. Don't have another gold block, so I hope I have plenty of gold left. Yep, perfect. Come on. So I think in the long term, um, this is going to end up being more efficient than using uh, fuel. Okay, stop it. Stop burning things, okay. So now hopefully that should just power straight into it. So there's no RF power currently. Let's throw our wood in there. Throw our three axes in, throw our extra saplings in. Now if you burn a plank, 
So it's producing 20 RF per tick, so that is 2 Minecraft joules per tick, which is actually pretty pretty powerful, and that thing can store 40,000. Um, but yeah, this is a much more efficient system than we had previously. And that's actually quite a useful generator. Um, that actually produces twice as much as one of those Stirling engines. Um, I don't think it burns for any longer. So I think the total amount that it produces is the same, which just produces it faster. And this thing here will just store up all of that power and it should just use it as it sees fit. Um, it's probably in my own interest to stick it underneath and see if that works. So it says it's producing power, and the power is not being stored in it. Excellent, the power is going up here. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is that is a very good thing. Um, I can just come down here whenever I feel like it now and just restock this. And we should have plenty of power. Um, just want to hopefully grow one more tree. There we go. Let's see how much power this thing... Oh, wow, that goes... Seems to use about 100 RF per chop. And the stone one seems to chop much faster than the wooden one did. I mean, that used a lot of RF power. Not convinced how efficient that was. Probably because that's a bit of a crappy generator. Um, I don't know, well, I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. I think in the end this is going to work out fairly well. Uh, it also means that it won't end up eating its own resources, it'll just wait um, effectively for me to fill it up. So yeah, I think we're onto a winner there. That's going to basically keep my supply of wood up and make sure that I always have plenty of wood to do the wood related things that I'm going to need to do with wood. Um, obviously I, I have my my new setup that's always going to give me plenty of, of Lava, you are not a. You are one of them. Got to sort all this stuff out because I know how much it frustrates you people who are watching when I get my inventory all messed up, and that happens way more than I'm proud of. I'm gonna keep the watering can on me because it's useful. Uh, I am very much almost out of cobblestone now. Uh, the miner will not work for me at this point. The reason for that is the miner is set up so that it takes uh, quite a lot of cobblestone to work. Um, I haven't got any cobblestone, so the idea of quite a lot of cobblestone is not going to work for me because basically it works uh, in the same way as that, that depending on how many upgrades you put depends on the area that it mines out. And every block that it mines, it uses durability on your pick and then it replaces that block um, with a piece of cobblestone that you have to give it. So not having any cobblestone uh, is going to limit my ability for that to work. So however however crazy it is, I'm actually now going to need um, to collect more cobblestone. So kind of dull. Uh, you might say very, very dull in fact. So I'm going to do this off camera. 
Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying, like I said, hopefully you guys are enjoying where the series is at. Hopefully you're enjoying um, seeing some more of the mods that are in the pack. Um, I, I will get started with Ender IO in the fairly near future uh, because I would like to, uh, once I've got a little ways with Buildcraft, I would actually like to get set up with I would like to get set up with a little bit of um, Ender IO to provide just a constant stream of Buildcraft power to the system. Um, I think that'll be a really useful thing for me. But yeah, so this diamond chipset should be done now, I hope. Oh, 79,000. Off by a fraction, but yeah. So I'm going to need to make that quarry. I'm going to need three iron gears, so that's three iron chipsets, two gold gears, so three iron chipsets, five iron chipsets, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, so I'm going to need seven iron chipsets, uh, four gold chipsets, and two diamond chipsets. Um, that is clearly a lot of stuff, and I might just be better off just mass producing things with this. That might just work out easier for me. Yeah, I will decide uh, off camera how I'm going to handle that. I'm probably going to go with what's easiest though, because lazy. Um, yeah, don't wanna argue, don't want to stuff around, just lazy. And while that's happening, this is going to be filling up with mana. And then I'm going to get the quarry going, and once I get the quarry going, I can worry about the intricacies of this later. Um, yeah, I should have plenty of gold. I mean, I don't have a lot of gold there, or iron for that matter. Um, but, is that 20 ingots of gold? So, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Um, anyway, until next time, thanks so much for watching. A stocky out.